for those of you who haven't been in my class, we always do something I call a guideline or ghost lines when we're trying to get proportions right. And it usually helps us get, you know, the shapes and the sizes um, closer to the way we want them when we're drawing. So first thing we want to do is we want to start with those ghost lines. And for our beaver, he's got his head and his round body. So what I want to do is just very lightly when you're doing these, because we're going to erase them afterwards after we have our drawing, but you want to draw these very lightly. So I'm going to start with a circle for his head, just like this. I'm doing it dark so that you guys can see, but I don't want you to have to um, do, I don't want you to have to worry about it when you're erasing it. So try to do it um, lightly if you can. So I'm doing it dark so you guys can see, but I would love for you guys to do it lightly so it won't be a problem for you to erase later on. So this is gonna be our guideline for the head. So now what we wanna do is draw a little, you know, uh, the circle for his body. So his body is gonna be bigger than his head. I'm drawing him a little bit bigger on this piece of paper than he is on this one. So he's not gonna be quite the same size. All right, so we wanna make sure that his body is bigger than his head because he's got sort of this big old round belly. And we're gonna adjust this later. So no worries if it's not perfect, like I said before. So once we have our two circles here, now we can connect them. I'm just going to use a line that goes down like this to connect them. So this one, this line is going to be curved. Also, again, we're doing all these lines lightly. I'm doing them dark so you guys can see. I actually did that one a little bit extra dark. I didn't mean to. But the line that is going to connect the circles on this side is going to curve in. And then we're going to do a line on this side that is going to slightly curve out. All right, just like that. So this side is curving in and this side is curving out. So next thing we want to do is I want to take his little, I want to take his little snout and get a good sort of uh, idea of where I want that to go. So I'm just going to ever so lightly draw sort of more of an oval shape right here on the side of his head. Now he's going to start to look like a duck. <laughs> But that is going to be for his little beaver nose, just to help us with that. Now we can look and he has his two little feet and his little tail. Now I think what I wanna do is I'm gonna go ahead and draw his tail. I can't forget about his little beaver tail. Now his little beaver tail is going to have this sort of rectangular shape to it. What I wanna do next, you guys are doing so good. We're actually going through this super fast so we might be able to color him together today. All right, the next thing I wanna do is he's got his little, his cute little teeny flipper feet. So I'm gonna come down and we are going to draw right underneath his belly, his first little flipper foot. And again, it is sort of shaped very similarly to um, his tail. It's kind of got that rounded rectangular shape, just like that. And that's going to be his front foot. And then we will do his other foot in a moment. Next thing we want to do is we're going to draw his other little foot just right next to his first foot. Again, it's going to be that very rectangular shape, but it's going to be more facing towards us. This one is kind of facing this way, and this foot is sort of facing this way. So it's almost like a flat U shape, just sort of coming out the bottom of his tummy, where his feet would be. He's at the very edge of that guide circle that we drew, is I'm going to draw, and you can do this darker now, but 
I'm going to draw, oops, see, this is why it's always good to have an eraser nearby. So you can always fix any mistakes you want to. All right, there we go. So I drew a sort of rounded triangle at the edge. Oops, flipping my pencil around. I drew a rounded triangle sort of at that top edge of that circle we made, and that is going to be his little nose. So it's sort of this upside down rounded triangle. But all right, hopefully you guys are okay. Thumbs up, we got our nose so far. Yay, okay, good, perfect. All right, so next thing I wanna do is we're just going to draw his little, or sorry, his little mouth. So I'm drawing one part of his cheek right here, just like that. It's just a little C shape. I haven't connected it all the way yet because we have to draw his other cheek. So just draw a little partial C shape right here. And then if you wanna go ahead and do his other cheek, then you can just go around like that and finish it off. There we go. So he's got his little cheeks and his nose. So you can give him, um, you can make his teeth as big or as small as you want to. But I'm going to give him his little buck teeth. So I'm making his teeth a little bit bigger this time. So you want to draw sort of this long rectangle that sort of gets smaller as it goes down, coming right out of his mouth. And that's going to be his little buck teeth, his little beaver buck teeth. And then I'm going to draw a line going down like that. Just starting from right under his mouth, I'm just going to darken these lines around his body. I'm going to give him a bit more of a belly. Here we go. All right. So I'm just going to darken his tail a little bit so that it matches his body here. All right. So now what I want to do is I want to give him his little tummy. There we go. So next thing I want to do is he's got his little arm. He's got little stubby arms. We only see one of his arms. So to do that arm right here, I'm just going to start out. So it's actually going to curve this way. There we go. So I'm just sort of doing this zigzag sort of line. So it kind of looks like an upside down question mark almost is what you could say that front part of his arm looks like. See, sort of an upside down question mark. Now we can come around here. And then finish off his arm. So I'm just drawing a line on the other side and giving him a little his little hand so that's sort of what his arm looks like upside down now it just looks like a little a little snake or something <laughs> but that's his arm and his little hand now we just want to come around the side of his head and we can't forget to give him his little ear so he's got a little beaver ear which is a backward c shape right there on the side of his head and to do the inside, it's just another backwards C shape like that. The very last thing we want to do is we want to give him his little eye. So he's got two sweet little eyes. I'm going to start out with sort of this tiny little dot. Just like that. I'm going to give him his little eyebrow over top of it like that. Now we can go to the other side on the very edge of his head and just draw another little tiny dot because you can kind of see his other eye and his other eyebrow. Well one thing you can add that is not in this part or it is, that is not in my little example here um, that beavers do have which actually I think people do. So they have sort of this pattern on their tail 
So what I want to do is go through and draw the lines. All right, here we go. So now he is all done and he's looking so super cute. I love that, this is teeny. We've got a big old guy over here. So what I like to do next when I do these little cartoons is, because um, it always makes it look a little more nice and neat, is if you do have a pen, um, a pen or a felt tip pen or a Sharpie, um, any of that, you can take your pen and we can outline our beaver. So I'm just gonna start with his face. actually going to use some funky colors myself. I think I'm going to make his tail, I think I'm going to make his tail orange, just because I feel like it. He's looking so silly right now, but he doesn't have to look like this. But my little beaver, he's looking cute. There's funny looking colors on him right now, but I'd love to see what you guys have so far. So hopefully I'll see you girls back, but that was a lot of fun. Um, and I hope you girls had fun too. I always love drawing with you girls, but thank you so much. Bye girls, thank Bye. you. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye.